Hello and welcome back to New Year, New Game. This is where I attempt to play 365 games in my Steam library that I have never played before. This is game 151, Spirit Farer. Spirit Farer is a story driven game. It is supposed to be sad, emotional kind of game that teaches you the meaning of letting go or saying goodbye i think is what they said not so much letting go i guess could be letting go as well but saying goodbye we didn't reach any of the sad parts so uh you're good to watch this video if you don't like sad <laughs> uh essentially what it is is that you are the spirit fairer which is kind of similar to uh the person who crosses the river of sticks which we meet in the beginning of this you're taking their place but you have a much larger boat, and it's like a houseboat where you house these different spirits. And what you do is you essentially take care of these spirits until it is time for them to go. You make them happy, you do things for them, I guess you go on adventures and stuff like that. We met just one. And, uh, yeah. There's other things to do. We did get stuck at one point, so you're gonna notice a cut when, uh, I'm at the jellyfish fields because I wasn't sure what to do and there really wasn't much guidance on what I should have done so it was a little frustrating for that but this is an indie game so you can't really expect it to be at the same standards as AAA titles other than that it was a great game I give it a big thumbs up the graphics are very nice very cartoony very smooth I was liking the way that it looked and the gameplay in itself is not bad at all there seems to be a lot of movement and traveling around to different islands and when on different islands you can find more spirits you can find resources that you need for your ship to expand it and uh, I think there was even like a little adventure mini game because that jellyfish one that we went to was technically a mini game so there's a lot of things to do and it's got an overwhelmingly positive review on Steam, so it has to be good, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, those are just other people's opinions, just like this is my opinion of it as well, by saying, giving it a thumbs up. I would definitely try the game again. Any game that is story rich and driven by its story, I am invested in. So I would gladly go back and play this game again. So I will add it to the must plays for 2023 and maybe we'll do a full on video of me completing the game. Anyways, I hope that you all will enjoy Spirit Farer here on New Year, New Game. New Game. Single player. Single. Single player. There it goes. That's weird. Look at that thing. Oh, finally. Will you click someplace? Enter? There you go, enter. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that you have been, would it not? I'm Charles. Well, that is what I have been until you arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. 
What's his name? What do we actually get to name him? No, oh, they just name him for us. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. It's a bridge. The brig, round bridge over there, is the Ever Door. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Just checking on the inside there. Oh, how highly inappropriate. <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It'll be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Guess we each get one. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fates of lost souls rest on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too, at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Ship just went down. 
Press spacebar to jump, hold spacebar to jump higher. Ah. Hold W while jumping to climb through platforms. Hold S and spacebar to drop down. Press E to interact with a glowing outline. Stella! It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Mm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too. I see. Mm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah, uh, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit bearer. Mm. You are the one replacing Karen. Karan. Charon. I'm going to pronounce it. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week. Living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. Look at that. It's a boat. Mm. That's the one. Mm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commander it, or commandeer it. I'd wager it will work, since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm. I'll explain it all. Gwen explains it all. Beep. Over here. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Jeez. Flashbang. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So... The way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm. Good. And as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm. You need to come here and give me a hug. Oh, let's give him a hug. Not food. Hug. Mm. Mm. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. We built a personal connection. Look, a sofa. Mm. Oh no! Mm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unrecognized testament to someone's laziness. Mm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix this, or fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. it really, it's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It'll unlock that cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. 
How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go, open that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Key for Stella's cabin. Well, press tab to review active requests. Start your boat in Stella's cabin. There we go. This is Alt Harbor. This is where we're going, Albert Shipyard. Set sail, Captain. What's up here? Stella! As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm. John, the Everdoor, the spirit farers, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But... I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space. For now, don't hesitate to explore the ship. Mm -hmm. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. It's a fishing rod. Where's a fishing rod? What fishing rod? Where? Was it inside? Oh, there we go. Hold it a reel. Hey, we got some old shoe. <laughs> uh, get up. There we go. Here we are. Albert Shipyard discovered. Hooray. Now, head over to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Mm -hmm. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Alright, just gotta get in here. And... We move ever on. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Don't you make fun of my dinghy? Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Charn was unhappy about his gloomy and dark arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. 
Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Eh, a loan from a shark, I get it. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge! Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Maybe I don't want to. Well, okay, we'll do it. Upgrade! Cost nothing. Guest house, garden, field, kitchen. What do you see? I wonder how we get these little old soul things. Do, 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 do. Thanks, get back. Edit. There you go. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat! But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers! Hey. Well, let's get on with it. Finally! Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any buildings and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Edit. Junk pile. Salvage. Hey, another old shoe. Select. Maple log, empty bottle, old shoe, old carpet. Boop. Wonderful. Mm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep. Not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here. Mm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the woods is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun! Set sail, Captain. Can I not uh, already do a guest house? Build. We are a few resources shy, it would seem. No, wait, guess not. There's a guest house here. Wonder if I should wait to build the guest house. Alright. Let's see. Oh, seems to be a few places. That looks like a bus station. But there are these two rocks. Crete? Kratos? Don't know what that is. And... Kratos. Like, both just say Kratos on them. 
confirm the travel there. And we fish while we wait. Get some more resources this way. A herring. Another herring. And another herring. I have harrowing fishtails. Another herring! Who would have guessed? A lot of stuff here. What's happening? Uh, what can I do here? Do I, like, just go down? How am I supposed to gather this stuff? Do I just sit here and gather it? Do I... that? How does this work? Hey, you'll choose. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Food? I don't have any food available. Mood? Is hungry. How do I get this stuff? What am I supposed to do? Do I not just automatically pick everything up, or maybe I gotta go to my blueprint? Edit? No? Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to pick all this stuff up. could talk to her, she would tell me, but she doesn't want to say anything. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. R, confirm, R, inventory, request cancel, boat, trajectory, clock, music. Let's go options real quick, because this audio is kind of loud, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. Move left, move down, jump, hold, glide, change menu, tab left and right, uh, interact, confirm, inventory, request, cancel, boat trajectory, and clock, music, continue, R, old shoe, old carpet, herrings, empty bottle, maple log, I feel like there should be something I'm supposed to do here. Like, there's all these glowing place pieces. Hold S and spacebar to dive. You gotta be right there. 
There we go. Copper ore. Limestone. There's a crate. A bunch of things. There we go. Some carrot seeds, linen seeds. More copper ore. Anything else? Well, oh. empty shell. Oh, I could take the things off the boat. Ugh, just can't get up there. How do I get back up on the boat? I'm stuck here. <laughs> it's too dark to navigate, it'll be possible again at dawn. There we go. Jeez. A little instruction would have been nice. Let me do this edit. Build. Benches. A field, a garden, and a kitchen would be nice to get. Since we got some seeds. And since we can't move until dawn... Looks like we're fishing. I'm hoping here will let us get some, like, supply stuff, since we're right by this ship. We're getting some old shoes, for sure. Is there no way to kind of skip past the night? Like, can I sleep? Uh, sleep till morning, yes. Okay, good. I was like, God, do I gotta wait this whole time? That would also have been nice to know. It's nighttime. You can sleep until morning. Press C to toggle the clock in trajectory display on and off. Uh, I don't know if I should go to that bus station. Or to this thing. Resources found, bright jelly. It's a jellyfish stage. 
Let's go to this. Good morning, Stella. Give you a morning hug? No? Food? I unfortunately do not have any food items. Guess we just continue to fish. Gather what resources we can while traveling between locations. All this herring, no kitchen to cook it in. Maybe I have to go to those three different resource places. The two scavenges and the jellyfish stage. We're here at a bus station. It does not look like there is anyone here. Oh, but I can't get onto this. Nope. Alright. Well. Let's go someplace else then, shall we? Uh, I guess we'll go to the jellyfish stage. So long, bus station. You know, the art and graphics in this is very smooth. I like it. Thing at the front here that I gotta like fight, or go after, or do anything with. I just wants me to talk to you. I'm trying not to. I want to use the little dinghy down there. It doesn't let me. When Stella are definitely to leave the boat, it stops. It will reset automatically once everyone's back on board. Alright. I guess it was still moving? Doesn't look like it's moving. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet? Nah, I guess that's it. Hmm. Or if I go further in. Guess we're just not supposed to be here. Alright, let's shove off to the next area. To these crates. Uh oh. 
I think I forgot to hit confirm. Confirm travel. Oh. Is it going? Did I move? No. Are we moving? Am I stuck here? What's happening right now? I don't think I'm moving. There's this little dot here. I still don't feel like we're moving anywhere. Am I supposed to fish while we're here? What is happening? That's a herring. All right. <laughs> Confirm travel. Why are we not moving? Maybe there's something there that I have to go get. Let's go into the water, see if I can go further up. No? Nothing? Alright. This is just really confusing. You got anything to say? No? Uh, ring the bell? Anything here? I want to try and travel elsewhere. But I can't even leave. It won't let me leave. Something here that we need? No. What the heck am I supposed to do? I'm gonna hug the cat. Anything? Seriously, anything. Alright, well, this is what we'll do. We'll pause the timer. I'm gonna look up what to do. You know, maybe it's because I didn't build a guest quarters. Let's try that. Guest house. Here we are. Damn! Here they come! Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpse anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Too bad I can't go higher up. Ah. 
Can't reach them. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we can leave. Jesus. Very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. Okay. A kitchen. Let's see. There is. And now we have some bright jelly. We can make the kitchen. Oh, well. Attach it. Boom. Right next to the guest house. And then we can go out and get some of this stuff. Lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. But any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Cook. Cook some corn. Does it cost to cook, or is that like something I gain from cooking? I can smell it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well... I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember, I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obl is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. 
which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostin Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Oh, bull. Alright, well. We're gonna go off real quick and go for a dive. What was it? S space. Oh, we got a thing. Limestone and a vibrant necklace. What do you suppose a vibrant necklace is for? Limestone, vibrant necklace again. Bunch of things. Viable ring, empty bottle. the things. Go to my inventories. We can see what these other items are. Right, jelly, copper ore, limestones. We got some turnips. Herring, empty shells, some common mussels. Here's some coffee beans. Corn, old shoe, old carpet, vibrant necklace. No longer has any use. Should be sold. Oh, okay, so these items are just to be sold. The mark of passage paid in full. Guess we start start cooking things. At least I can cook up to five of one thing. This while we wait. It's a location to a new island. Let's go. This is still going. Build a garden. We need more maple logs to do that. With a little bit of water and care, your cereal seeds will grow into plants in no time. Do we even have cereal seeds? No. No, we do not. Ooh, steam shellfish. Cook. We can cook a log. Alright. Don't think we can go into the guest house. It seems like we're getting an understanding of how the game operates. Like we have arrived at our destination, and I have gotten old shoes. Look at that! Mostin Cove discovered. There's apparently something here that we need. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Uh, how much longer till this thing's done? Oh, it's gonna be a while. All right, let's go. Are you already?
Mm. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I actually had to move the left and right in order to make it chop. Well done! Congratulations! For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. I think we need more than that, right? We'll gather up some of these other things. These raspberries... See what else is on here, if there happens to be a person. There's another tree that we can chop down. <laughs> this is so funny, just the way he hangs off the edge there. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Boom. Boom. All that limestone. And I don't think we go any further this way. Nope. That's where the map ends. It lights up like there's something there, but I can't gather it. It's alright. What kind of mood are you in? Still a happy one. Well, let's go. We'll just leave her there. Oh god, did we really leave her there? No, there she is. Oh, hey, just in time. Well, you see. She's not saying anything. Then once this finishes, I will put my person to bed, and we will make it day, and we will move on to whatever else is next. Mm -hmm. Stella! Hang on, hang on. Boom, let's get this out the oven. Grilled fish recipe learned. What's up? Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in the cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. You can ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember... Only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. Alright. Let us also go to sleep. Too dark to navigate. Oop. Sleep. Nothing has a bell on it, so I guess that would be the time to wake everyone up.
Hey, some other places. It's another new place over here. Hummingburg. Good morning, Stella. I'm gonna give you a hug. Thank you. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythological challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Um, I guess I should cook a thing, right? Why don't we? Why don't we try cooking a thing? Um, should we try cooking these raspberries? Let's do the turnips. And cook. Alright. Well, that's doing that. I'm gonna go to the blueprint, because she wanted us to build field, right? Isn't there a way to check quests or anything like that? Medium glint bottle. Open. Got an empty bottle. Alright. 250 glint. Uh, I could have sworn there was a quest thing. I guess not. Change your menu, tap left, tap right. Interact, confirm, inventory. Yeah, no, there's not. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we'll just go to that new island. We are actually going to be running out of time, though, before we get there. We have 58 seconds. Stella! You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. But I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You're here taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pendatic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delona vase. It was rad. Hmm. I figure she would have been like a relative of some kind. What do we get? New recipe, grilled veggies. How's your mood? You're hungry. Let's give you food. Oop. Acquired taste. Uh, I'll give you one of these. Thanks, I love it. <laughs> Shows she's like eating cake. Hummingburg discovered. Definitely looks like a village of some kind. Alright, well, as much as we would continue on, it is actually the end. That is an hour. So yeah, that is Spirit Farer. 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 Spirit Farer. Um, I like it. It's got these nice, clean kind of graphics to it. Uh, the story to it. This is supposed to be a really story-driven type game. And uh, it seems like it's interesting. Within the hour, we can only go so far. It does have potential. I really wish there was more of a... kind of... Uh, locked-in quest type system. Like with building the guest house in order to get Stella going. She was talking about building guest house, but I thought that her house was the 
top portion. I didn't realize that it was ours. I wish it would have prevented me from moving the ship until the guest house was built. Because we could have saved time instead of going to the jellyfish area and then just trying to figure out what's to do. Even when we went to the salvage area, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And it would have been nice to kind of had a guide to those things, especially when you're new to a game. That's something that I would have wanted. Um, but hey, I think we figured it out. We got where we want. The only thing is that I wasted time and took out of the hour that we were doing, which was a real shame. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's really all I got. But it was a good game still, nonetheless. I will give it a thumbs up, and I would gladly continue the story. It's supposed to be sad and does have an overwhelmingly positive review, so I would definitely give it another go and see what the story's like, because I love me a good story. If you yourself liked Spirit Fairer, you can play it on Steam. That's where I am playing this. It was available through Humble Choice this month. And it's the last day of the month. So it'll still be available for Humble Choice, even though tomorrow will be the first. If you... God, when do they change? I want to say on the 7th or on a Thursday is when that changes over. So maybe you'll get one extra day before it changes. No, because the first is a Thursday. So maybe it won't. Uh, maybe it's the 7th. I, I can't remember when Humble Choice changes, but it's not always like right as the first comes up, bam, it changes. I think it usually waits a little bit. Unless it is on Thursdays, in which case the first falls on a Thursday. So, eh, there's that. But, yeah. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.